today we are going to be installing our resistors. These resistors, they're going to be going into our LED turn signals on the Tundra. I did a video on how to install the LED lights on the Tundra. Now I'm doing a video of how to address the hyper flash issue. There's a kit where there's our actual resistors with a uh, long harness and whatnot. Um, issue with that is that honestly, um, it doesn't work on the Tundra. I have it. I have the kit. I bought it. Uh, it was like $50. Ooh, low. Waste of money. But we're going to actually correct it by using these resistors. So you live, you learn, but you guys are watching this video so you don't have to make the same mistake that I do. All right, so here's the big old Tundra. So as you can see, we got our LED aftermarket switchback light in there. And switch back is because it's got the amber and it's got the white LED bulbs in there. Running lights, it's white. Um, when you actually turn on the turning signal, it's going to be amber color. Towing mirror lights. GM style, baby. GM style, baby. On the Tundra. This is plug and play. We got heated peep icon there. So it is the heated mirror. It also does have your blind spot monitor there and it's got these call it mirror floodlights um and basically uh you'll press a button uh depending on how you wire it so say for instance you were to press the button to activate the bed light and you have this connected to it when you throw in reverse you, you press that button to turn on your trunk bed lights um, basically this is going to provide some light uh, for like this area here so that way you'll be able to see as well as you know here so that's what it is what it's for it's not currently um wired up but i'm gonna do a video um on how to get that bad boy installed it's called i bright star 50 watt 60 ohms signal blink era code resistors so this is what the kit looks like these are the resistors they get extremely extremely hot so you need to mount them to a surface that can resist that heat i call them butt connectors you basically take your wire from the resistor and then the wire from your vehicle pull inside and just uh, clamp them down. And this will basically splice into the wires. So this is the driver's side. Daytime slash turning light. Your white and black wire is gonna be your ground wire. We wanna identify our negative wire and our positive wire. Now, white and black is a common negative wire for your headlight, your turn signal, even your side marker light. We know we can tap into the white and black wire. We have a purple wire and we have a red wire. So one of these wires are actually the blinking wire and one of the other wires is just the straight up power wire. If you look at each connector, each connector on the driver's side and passenger side you identify that both sides have a white and black for negative and a purple light so this purple light is also likely to be going to your side marker light which is here with that in mind your side marker light does not blink this is straight on power now if we move on over so this is the passenger side as you can see on that side it also has that purple light so since the driver's side and passenger side socket for the daytime running and turning signal lights, they both have purple lights. That means that's just a straight power wire that's also running to our side marker wire. So the pink wire on this passenger side, that is your turning signal wire. So that pink power wire here, that provides power to the blink indicator so that's what makes your light blink when it comes to your driver's side that will indicate that our driver 
blink light is going to be red, all right? So this is your blink light. This provides power to your blink. So passenger to side, pink wire, positive wire for a blink. That's what sends the blink signal. White and black, it's a ground wire. You can use any ground wire that's white and black that's coming from your lights. Pretty much put our butt connectors on and rock and roll. Do the right way. No shortcuts. We're taking this grill off. We're taking this cover off. And then we're taking off the headlights. We're doing it the right way, guys. All right, guys, I apologize, but my phone is about to die. So I'm not going to be able to show you guys every step of the way. Um, however, if you're just trying to figure out how I was able to get the grill off, the fender, plastic fender underneath the headlights off, and if you're trying to figure out how to get these bad boys off, um, look at my other video where I actually show you step by step of what you need to do to release and how to pull that grill off. I'm gonna just jump right into it. Um, next time I come back with the recording, it's gonna be me uh, where I already have um, our resistors wired up to our lights. At least you guys will be able to see which wire um, I'm using on the resistor so that way you guys can get a good feeling of how you need a wire. Hyper flash is gone. We are tied into the white, white and black. And so pink for blink, white and black for ground. It's, e it's any of those uh, white and blacks that I'm using. It's not directly that one. It could be white and black over here or here because the headlight white and black is thicker. So, all right, guys. So this is the resistor here. If you see, this end is going to our pink wire, which the pink wire is the blank wire. This end is going to our white and black wire, which our white and black wire is the ground wire. It does not matter which side is which. You know, I can flip this over, have this side going to the pink wire, and then this side going to the white wire. It does not matter. As long as you have one side on your power for blink and then your other side for um, ground. Just do not have both ends connected to each other. You don't want to do that. I'm going to put this light back on and figure out how I'm going to mount this because I tried to drill a hole right here to open this up so that way I could just put a screw in it. But it's just these things are just way too small. If I drill a hole a little bit more bigger, it's just pretty much going to bust right through. So what I'm going to do is just pretty much use this galvanized uh, wire here and just tie it up real tight. Almost there. I highly recommend what you do is you first, if you're going to use your, you know, if you're able to get some screws in there to tie it up that way you know use your screws and tie it up if you can't find some metal wires and uh, just pretty much get everything seated first and then you know connect your wires to the wire harness so that way you don't pull on those wires uh, the resistor is pretty much just on the actual frame so it's fine since I didn't have uh, the resistor and this bulb, you know, all my lights had the hyper flash. Even my uh, towing mirror lights, they had the hyper flash just because of that. Now, as you can see, everything is the way it should be. And also, I don't have that crazy hyper flash sound in the cabinet, which drove my kids crazy. We're good to go. And that just looks so damn good. It just looks so good. So, all right, guys, I'm going to knock out the other side, put everything back on and just show you the finished product because I am tired and I'm losing light again. All right, guys, this is the Tundra, Beagle Tundra. As you can see, we do not have that hyper flash light. Kind of give you guys the full view. No hyper flash. Love it. 